Previously on the Science of Nothing. Spent a couple of years being shot at. That'd help you camouflage a little bit. It sure does. Yeah. But that's not how a deer would go shopping for something like this. No. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of outdoor backcountry experience. That's great. Now, Brad told me you guys are a lot of fun, and so far, that's a bunch of bull. <laughs> <laughs> Whether in humans or animals, predators or prey, eyesight functions in concert with the other senses to answer two questions Where is it, and what is it? The ears detect the sound of a twig snapping, and the eyes look to where the sound originated to answer, where is it? The same occurs when an animal detects a scent. The eyes immediately look upwind to detect its source. Vision then attempts to answer the question, what is it, to assess potential threats. I'm Kurt Dowsett, and this is the science of nothing. All right, well, I'm here to meet with Dr. Jay Knights, one of the world's leading experts in the field of vision comparison and a PhD in vision science. We're gonna find out a little bit more about ungulate vision and how it applies to camouflage. So Jay, tell us a little bit the, about the difference between human vision and deer vision. Well, it's not just deer that we're talking about. Really, we're talking about all ungulates. That means deer and elk, moose, sheep, goats, okay. pigs, really anything that has a hook. Oh, okay. So I like my ex-wife. Go on. I didn't need an expert like Dr. Nice to tell me the most obvious difference between ungulate vision and human vision, that is eye placement. While human eyes are placed forward with a field of view around 120 degrees, Ungulates' eyes are located far to the side of their heads, enabling a nearly 280-degree field of view. A very subtle movement of the head enables them to scan for predators over a complete 360 degrees. However, the trade-off for such a wide view of the world is diminished visual acuity. Where humans would see 2020, an ungulate sees around 2040. What would be another difference? They don't have as good of color vision as we have. Humans, we have trichromatic color vision. Okay, they're like the primary colors? Right. Deer, you only would need two primary colors. Ungulate eye structure contains color receptors for only yellow and blue. Therefore, the ungulate view of the world is one painted as blue, yellow, black, white, and gray. Well, that makes sense, but uh, how, did, how did you figure all this out? I'm a vision scientist, and I have spent the last 20-some years yeah. studying vision in animals. But people have developed visual tests where we're able to test vision in animals in much the same way you can do it a human. Really? Now, I mean, you're not walking them into the DMV and having, having them read the chart or anything. No. But you've got to test. Yeah, it takes a lot of determination, a lot of patience, but it's been worth it to really get a glimpse into what animals can see. In applying all of this vision science to camouflage design, Dr. Knight's input has been absolutely critical in helping Tim O'Neill and Guy Kramer understand both what ungulates see as well as what they don't see. So the ideal camouflage would be one that makes the hunter so he can't be recognized. That's the same thing as being in invisible. Based on the science of ungulate vision that Jay Knight's described to me, you're looking at me now through the eyes of a deer, but you're also looking at my bow hunting friend Ryan, who's about 20 meters behind me. If you don't see him, it's because you're looking at him wearing Gore's Optifade concealment technology through the eyes of an ungulate. Optifade camouflage from Gore is the first and only concealment system ever scientifically designed around the way a hunter's prey views the world. It's the only concealment system to combine a symmetry disrupting macro pattern with a fractal geometry-based micro pattern designed to become nothing in the eyes of prey at engagement ranges of 20 meters and beyond. I'm your host, Kurt Dowsett. Thanks for watching The Science of Nothing. So we're supposed to just see if we can see the hunter. I can't see a hunter. No, oh, on this one too, I do not see a thing. Is that him? No, that's not him. I don't see. I see no hunter. <laughs> Thank you.
amazing. Yeah, I see you pointed the wrong one. <laughs> That's the best camouflage I've ever seen. I can't even see it. It's amazing, it really is. That is remarkable. I'd be invisible. I mean, I'd, I'd be nothing like I am at home. <laughs> that will improve their chin. W.L. Gorn Associates. Yeah. I'm Kurt Down sitting here in in uh, a room. Mother f Jeans are not waterproof, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, you've taught me a lot. <laughs> I just put some uh, some uh, ointment on it and it went away. So what do we have here? 